The tech world is abuzz with excitement as new details emerge about Samsung's upcoming flagship, the Galaxy S26 Ultra. Recent leaks from the first firmware file for the device have confirmed that it will run on Android 16 based One UI 8.5, setting the stage for a cutting edge user experience. However, the most significant revelation is the confirmation that the Galaxy S26 Ultra will be powered by Qualcomm's next generation flagship chipset, likely the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2, identified by the model number PMK8850 in the firmware. This video delves into the implications of this chipset choice, explores other rumored specifications of the Galaxy S26 Ultra, and examines Samsung's broader strategy for its S26 series. The Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 A Leap Forward The discovery of the PMK8850 model, number in the Galaxy S26 Ultra's firmware, is a pivotal piece of information. Given that the Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset in the Galaxy S25 Ultra carries the model number 8750, it's reasonable to infer that PMK8850 represents its successor, tentatively named the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2. Qualcomm's Elite series is renowned for pushing the boundaries of mobile performance, and the Gen 2 is expected to build on this legacy with significant improvements in processing power, energy efficiency, and AI capabilities. The Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 is anticipated to feature an advanced architecture, likely built on a 3 nanometer or even 2 nanometer process node, offering superior performance compared to its predecessor. This could translate to faster app launches, smoother multitasking, and enhanced gaming capabilities for the Galaxy S26 Ultra. The chipset is expected to include an upgraded Adreno GPU, which should deliver exceptional graphics performance, making it ideal for high-resolution gaming and augmented reality applications. Qualcomm has been doubling down on AI integration in its chipsets, and the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 is likely to feature an enhanced neural processing unit NPU. This could enable more sophisticated on-device AI tasks, such as real-time image processing, advanced voice recognition, and personalized user experiences. For the Galaxy S26 Ultra, this could mean improved camera performance, smarter battery management, and seamless integration with Samsung's One UI 8.5, which is built on Android 16's AI-focused framework. Energy efficiency is a critical factor for flagship smartphones, and the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 is expected to optimize power consumption extending battery life, even under heavy usage. This is particularly important for the Galaxy S26 Ultra, which is rumored to retain a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. Enhanced power efficiency could allow the device to support demanding features like a 6.9 inch high brightness display and 60 watt fast charging without compromising endurance. Samsung's chipset strategy, Snapdragon versus Exynos. While the Galaxy S26 Ultra is confirmed to use the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2, the chipset choice for the other models in the S26 series, likely the Galaxy S26 and S26 Plus, remains uncertain. Samsung has historically alternated between Qualcomm's Snapdragon chips and its in-house Exynos processors, depending on the region and model. A recent report suggests that Samsung may equip the non-Ultra models with the Exynos 2600, featuring a new heat dissipation system to address past concerns about thermal performance. The Exynos 2600 is rumored to incorporate advanced thermal management technology, which could mitigate overheating issues that plagued earlier Exynos chips. Improved heat dissipation would allow the Exynos 2600 to sustain high performance during intensive tasks like gaming or video editing. If successful, this could make the Exynos-powered Galaxy S26 and S26 Plus viable alternatives to their Snapdragon counterparts, potentially reducing costs for Samsung and consumers in markets where Exynos chips are used. Samsung's decision to use different chipsets across regions has sparked debate among consumers, with Snapdragon variants often perceived as superior in performance and efficiency. The confirmation of the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 in the Galaxy S26 Ultra suggests that Samsung is prioritizing consistency for its premium model, 
ensuring that all users, regardless of region, experience the same high-end performance. However, the potential use of the Exynos 2600 in the base and plus models could reintroduce regional disparities, a point of contention that Samsung may need to address through rigorous optimization. Galaxy S26 Ultra Rumored specifications Beyond the chipset, leaks and reports have provided a glimpse into the Galaxy S26 Ultra's other specifications, positioning it as a powerhouse in the smartphone market. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is expected to feature a 6.9-inch Dynamic AMOLED 2X display, slightly larger than its predecessor. This display is rumored to offer improved color accuracy and higher brightness levels, making it ideal for outdoor visibility and HDR content. The larger screen size could enhance productivity and media consumption, while Samsung's signature slim bezels and curved edges are likely to maintain the device's premium aesthetic. Samsung has consistently pushed the boundaries of mobile photography, and the Galaxy S26 Ultra is no exception. The device is rumored to feature a 200 megapixel primary camera with a wider aperture, allowing for better low light performance and sharper details. These upgrades could solidify the Galaxy S26 Ultra's position as a leader in smartphone photography. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is expected to come with 12 gigabytes or 16 gigabytes of RAM, ensuring smooth multitasking and future-proofing for demanding applications. Storage options are likely to include 256 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes, and possibly one terabyte, catering to users who require ample space for media, apps, and files. The device is rumored to retain a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, a staple in Samsung's Ultra lineup. While the battery capacity remains unchanged, the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2's efficiency improvements could extend real-world usage. The inclusion of 60-watt fast-wired charging is a notable upgrade, reducing charging times and enhancing convenience for users on the go. Android 16 and One UI 8.5 The Galaxy S26 Ultra's firmware reveals that it will run on Android 16-based One UI 8.5 marking a significant software milestone. Android 16 is expected to introduce advanced AI features, improved privacy controls, and enhanced customization options. One UI 8.5, Samsung's custom skin, will likely build on these features with a refined user interface, new productivity tools, and deeper integration with Samsung's ecosystem, including wearables and smart home devices. Conclusion. The confirmation that the Galaxy S26 Ultra will feature the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 chipset is a significant development, signaling Samsung's commitment to delivering top-tier performance in its flagship device. Coupled with a 6.9-inch display, a 200-megapixel camera, and Android 16-based One UI 8.5, the Galaxy S26 Ultra is shaping up to be a formidable contender in the smartphone market. While questions remain about the chipset strategy for the broader S26 series, the Galaxy S26 series could offer a compelling mix of performance, innovation, and value. With its release on the horizon, the Galaxy S26 Ultra is poised to redefine what a flagship smartphone can achieve. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to this channel for more content. Thank you.